Crusader Kings 3, where to kick things off today, we're going to hang our son, Wabu Buffett, who has been a very naughty boy, a very arrogant boy. No, apparently we are, uh, oh no, hang on, we're teaching him how to, uh, how to deal with people who can't defend themselves. Yes, spit on him, beat him, he deserves nothing less. <laughs> Welcome to Crusader Kings 3. Uh... Oh my god, of course we're educating all these bloody kids, aren't they? Um, so, I'm looking for... There was a couple of, a couple of comments yesterday that actually talked about this. So I, I wanted to bring it up to start off with, before we dive into things too much with our regular kind of wonder-building crap. What what are we going to do for an endgame goal this series? Because a couple of people floated the idea of Rome. Um, which, to be honest, I'm not really up for. Um, given that we did a Rome... We, we did a Rome run recently. We uh, the, the the vampire series we did ended up going from Saxony to Rome. Um, we could try something a bit more challenging, like for example, not expanding Venice's borders at all, and instead trying to take out, say, the whole of the Byzantine Empire with an invasion, or doing some sort of religious change instead. So so making our own branch of Catholicism, for example. There's a lot of things we could do that could be fairly interesting outside of that. Um, or maybe we do the CK2 achievement where we move to uh, India. There was achievement in CK2 for controlling all of the Indian coast and having trade posts on all of them. We could try something weird like that. But anyway, I'll leave it down to you guys because right now we are, um, you know, obviously obviously right in the middle of building up all of our wonders. So we've got a long way to go before we have to worry about endgame or anything like that. I took Elongated Muskrat out playing with a bow. I took her out. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of her then. Oh, it's a most surprise she ran into a wounded doe. Um, Elon Muskrat just smiled. It's just an animal. She gains sadistic. Oh, um, that's sinful to Catholics. And she can use hostile schemes against her own children. Ooh. Intrigue plus two. That's quite fun, isn't it? Um, then show me that you could have failed the animal yourself. Give her ambitious for free. But we do gain 25% stress. Oh, this was a test. I hope you do better next time. Intrigue plus three. Diplomacy minus one. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Stress gain plus 100%. I think we'll go for ambitious, right? Sadistic sounds fun, um, but it doesn't really lend itself to what we're doing right now. I mean, I guess with the plots, though, we could we could uncover plots a lot quicker, couldn't we? But I don't really want to go into the intrigue tree because it ruins um, it ru ruins golden obligations if you do that. I think we'll go for ambitious. She's ambitious. She's curious. She's impatient. She, she, I think it's going to be a good ruler for our ram, and she's our current heir too. So I think we could, uh, I think we definitely get a lot out of you. So when to get this one, uh, Pedogadi, um, for our first scholarship focus perk, which will obviously give them additional skills of becoming friends. We'll flip over back to diplomacy after that, and we'll take uh, Grim's rule, try and make them as good as possible. Then if we get a chance, we'll go back to. Uh, We'll go back to stewardship and maybe go for something like avaricious. Try and bring in as much gold as possible. Do anything we can really to boost our stewardship a little bit higher. And then everything broke. So I had to go and fix some things quickly because one of the mods updated and bricked every other mod. Um, so long story short, the harbor's finished building now. Um, it's, it's been like a couple of months, so so nothing major there. Great harbor's finished. And in that time, she had Babby B formed. We have a new child, Larry Lellison, who is uh, a sickly genius, who I'm hoping we can, uh, hopefully we can keep around here. Let's go ahead and send her a proposal. So I've also enabled another mod. I don't actually know if it's working yet. I, don't, I haven't actually tested it. Um, but it's, it's quite popular on the workshop right now. And that's a mod that allows you to prevent your family members becoming wanderers. So in the case of, say, for example, you do some incredible floor planning. And uh, well, I think floor planning is a little bit of a of a tautology. It doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, if you get a load of kids who are genius or really well educated or whatever, like what we've done right here, it means that we can basically keep them around at court. You know, they can, they can actually help out the bloody dynasty rather than just fucking off to the other side of the world, getting imprisoned and dying in battle somewhere. So, I mean, basically how it works in, in um, you know, CK2 republics is that you, you keep family members at court. Sure, you have to pay them a little bit more. Um, but they do contribute in various ways. Obviously, CK2 gives them the... Um, gives, gives massive bonuses to your trade post. I mean, in this, they'll just act as our only decent council members. Seeing as right now, council is crap tier. 24 gold a month, and I can't afford any sort of decent steward. Oh, hello. What the fair money? Um, given just or given temperate in exchange for us going mad. Um, temperate's quite good, isn't it? Just is quite good as well, though. Ooh, let's go temperate. Oh, overwhelmed. Um, now how long have we got realistically before we've got another hunt? Um, because she's shy, right? So the, the, yeah, so the feasts are a complete waste of time. Um, what are we looking at on the hunt? 28th of April. 
Oh, like eight days. Okay, in that case, I'll take it. This is my duty after all. Then if we launch a hunt quickly, because she's got the novice hunter trait, we might just, if we're lucky, get down below the... Um, find the heart. We see the white heart. Oh my god. Are we actually going to catch the white stag? Uh, my lady, this heart, is it the one you steak? Uh, probably not uh, the one you steak. But stand us. Stand a fucking bella for playing them, huh? Yes, well spotted. Excellent work. 150 prestige. Not quite the stress loss I wanted. I've decided whenever I subnormally, so but I fuck up, uh, saying words, I'll just leave it. Uh, I I'll just be silent for a bit. That way when I'm editing, I can see, oh, there's a gap in the audio there. I know I need to edit around that. I'm not, I'm just going to give in these days. Sod it. I've decided whenever I misspeak, we're just going to embrace it. And we're just going to invent very slowly um, a new language of the streamer. Welcome. Um, pilgrimage? I think they can. They can reduce stress, can't they? Once we give it a go. Oh, they're expensive. Go on, then. You better get rid of some stress here, brother. Otherwise, I'm going to be very annoyed. Um, foreign guards or divine protection? You don't need your foreign guards. Especially nothing that will cost money. Um, got lost for five years. What does that do? Severe penalty on your health. Really? So this is 560 gold we spent so far. Larry Lallison has died. And we gained 600 and... Ah, oh, that was not worth it. Remind me never to pilgrimage again in Venice. I was hoping we would lose some stress along the way. Obviously, it's semi-random. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and say bye. Um, we, we could always make our own faith eventually. How much is that going to cost? Oh, not too much. Ooh. With our next character, I could be very persuaded to start the, the faith of the money dollar. We can go full in money. Uh, what, what gives us money? Um, vows of poverty. That's the up tax non-believers. That sounds good. Uh, ritual celebrations obviously be good as well. We could go for uh, pursuit of power. Title creation costs minus 50%. That saves money. Um, what else we got here? Legalism. Human sacrifice. Uh, I need anything that gives us gold. Um, I don't know. Uh, temple building, that's not terrible, but not fantastic. Um, hmm, we'll see what it's like when we get a little bit closer, but actually making a new... I mean, how much was that again? 2,125, just to create our own religion. We can make ourselves the religious head too, I would assume. Um, what is it now, a spiritual? We can have temporal. I would love to make up. We would have to obviously get the holy sites, but maybe that's a goal. We worship the mighty dollar. <gasps> Egg boy, he died. Minus 14 stress. He died of pneumonia. Wow. Goodbye, little leg boy. To be fair, he did try murder us. I think he died in our prison, didn't he, specifically? Um, that's good. Fine. Another enemy dealt with. A little bit minus stress. We weren't able to hunt a heart, but we did hunt egg boy. The tastiest omelet of all. We did get another learning lifestyle, but this will almost certainly be the last one. Let's go for anatomical studies then. Keep ourselves decently handy. Um, hello. To the modest queen. Who are you? A vassal of the Byzantine Empire. What is that? Armor expert. Oh. Fair enough. Um, sure, I'll accept that. It's a free, it's a free alliance. I'm not going to complain too much. Ah, uh, Pope, uh, Pope is offering us gold. And we've got 160 from you, 160 from you. Oh my God, this is insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just paid off that bloody pilgrimage quite nicely. Realistically, what is our next wonder then? Um, carpenter's gold is really good actually. <laughs> I thought I'm getting carpenter's gold is actually really nice. Um, so the pastoral lands gives what at its highest. Supply, level reinforcement. Oh, it's good, but it's not quite a wonder, though, is it? What can we swap you out for? Um, let's take a look here. Grand University gives 10% development growth. That's a bit garbage. Uh, Great Library isn't too terrible. Grand Cathedral, holding taxes and straight tax as well. That's quite good. Um, we got Great Walls, Grand Fortress, Great Lighthouse. Uh, I, I think I've got to go Great Lighthouse next. Bear in mind, we can, we can build it right now anyway, but it also gives us 12% holding taxes and the 0 0.5. Um, 12% levy size. Also, the development growth. Yeah, okay. We'll go Great Lighthouse. That seems appropriate for Venice. Oh, and we can upgrade it. Oh, look at that. I didn't know you could have upgraded some wonders. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is, um, that is significant, isn't it? So, Royal Palace 1. This is Royal Palace 2. Royal Palace 2 was the one I expected we were going to build there, but obviously that's the that's the final product. Same with our amphitheater. Wow. Kai's is a witch. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Uh, another rival died. Wow, we might actually manage to dodge the stress just based on our rivals dying. Uh, Kaiser, I will take your dollars. Thank you very much. Man, we're going to need a bloody fortune to fully build it. This is going to be it's going to be quite ridiculous. Oh, we can get ambitious as well. He's already got ambitious. Oh, he's, he's just got ambitious already. Got it. Um, sadistical paranoid. No, keep it. 
Look at these kids. This is so good. Um, and they've all got educators, right? I just want to probably double check here before we... Um, so, a daughter, she's 15. She's got impatient, ambitious, lustful, curious, genius. Uh, her stewardship is pretty decent. You know, with minimum education, she's going to go up to 16, which is fine. Um, and she gets the 30% as well, which is brilliant. Uh, okay, great. Before we check, she's, she does have an educator. Just thought I'd double check, but she definitely does. Um, how are you doing? Yep, educator for you. Maslin Jars is an educator. Um, Galinda, Galinda Dates, she's fine. Uh, Jeff... Beth Jesus is absolutely okay. Larry Lullison is dead as dicks. So we don't have to worry about educating him as far as I'm concerned. He is of age. She gains... Uh, thrifty Clerk? What? Thrifty Clerk? We had 25 stewardship and the girl's a genius. She came out Thrifty freaking Clerk. Oh, my lord. Edu what? what is How do you do education in this game? It seems so different to CK2. All the things that I assume would be sensible are not. Horrible girl. Oh, well, we'll see if any of the other kids come out better then. Um, we've got other genius children, right? Yeah. Galinda dates. Give us stewardship. We'll educate her. Be gone. Husband, get out of here. Right, I'll educate her. So we'll probably end up voting for... Oh, God. Okay, Who, who's educating you? Remove. And uh, let's throw you now at our husband. Um, one of these kids are going to come out good. Mark my words. We're fast as well. If we go for to diplomacy quickly, uh, go for... I think we'll probably just go for foreign affairs focus, to be honest with you. And then we'll start putting points into Grooms to Rule just as soon as possible. That is retroactive, so she'll get some bonuses out of that. Wow, you are... Dog shit. Really not, not good. Well, I mean, she's not that bad. But it's the fact that we missed such an opportunity with her by not coming out. Okay, we've got a genius guy there. I guarantee that. That's quite nice. Um, it's just the fact that we've missed such an opportunity, it feels like, by her coming out with such a bad le level of education. She could have been insane. So the question is, do we go genius? Or do we try and go for a different trait and double down? We've got to we've got to test the water, right? So why don't we go for sort of by age, yeah? Why don't we go for? I think the best choice would be Herculean um, to start off with. Longer lifespans, more stuff we can do, more potential to fix broken characters if we do end up in that situation. The most appropriate character though is Arnold von Cham, a 50-year-old fella. Uh, she is lustful, though, so we are expecting at least some kids out of this. And it, you know what? If that doesn't work, we'll go for a beautiful character afterwards. Excellent. You're welcome, my daughter. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. No, not Mackenzie Mizos. She came out Midas Touched. Ball, so she's actually a better... And then Wobbuffet money also gained Midas Touched. Oh, that's staggering. I can't believe it. Oh, my God, we had another freaking kid. Um... So we got Midas Touch, we got Midas touched. How did our genius come out worse? Okay, Massillon Jars. Um, I guess we'll keep her on diplomacy then. That's a bit of a shame. Um, so Galinda dates, it's all on you now. It's really all on you. Good luck. Or or Jeff Bezos, of course. I can't I can't lie about that. Oh! Genius and Hale. Um, we've got another chance at a good kid. Okay. Um, so who are we educating? Bear with me here. Well, let's give you to our husband then, right? Because he shouldn't be educating someone else, as far as I recall. I think he was in charge of the twins. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a spare, a spare ward. So let's throw you at him. Excellent. And now for another rich child. Um, we could call you... Uh, Ian... Ian... Quilizabeth. Quilizabeth. She's fairly rich, last time I checked. In Elizabeth money. That's... <laughs> oh, that one's especially bad. Lighthouse completed. There we are. And then we've got... Uh, Galinda Dates increased stewardship by one. She's up to 12 stewardship. And she's nine years of age. I think. I'm sorry. Elongated muskrat. You assumed you would be heir because you're good. I think you've... Uh, I think you've royally fucked your chance of inheritance. This kid is five points behind. and doesn't have an education. So minimum, she's going to get two more points. So minimum is 14. And she's nine. Oh, this is good. Uh, stay there. Stay there, never leave. Okay. Lighthouse is done. We're up to 27.7 gold per month. Uh, Lordy and Duchy of Galicia. Great. Um, should we move? Okay, so let's see what other buildings we can move on then. Uh, Grand University. We can actually build that right now. Grand Library. Holding Texas 5%. I think it's better to save it for the cathedral. What do you think? Let's stick, let's stick and wait for the cathedral. Sure. And it's May, so it means we can have another feast. We're getting dangerously high on these stress front because I'm trying to just suppress it. But... It might be a case... We might have to take one of the uh, mental break traits soon. 
like reclusive or something like that just as uh just as a method of, of being able to have help educating kids essentially let's do it find the white bloody stag again pope how does his spindly little body keep up such a mighty hat um of course i'll help of course and then we'll say or as always uh mackenzie mesos you can have it and then i'm gonna overwrite you so i get the dollars instead what are we doing we're going on a hunt no chit chat we'll be getting that heart let's do it or should we listen to him it has a chance of the blank getting away um, no chit chat. Let's get that heart. So I'll shoot in the great hall. Okay. Uh, shy, impatient, or gluttonous. I only give a shy. We gave the last woman. I mean, shy is bad. Don't get me wrong. Can't have feast and whatnot as, as with our current character, but it's manageable quite clearly. Our last character we gave impatient, and I feel like that might have had some negative impacts on our education. So you are now. Oh, damn it. We didn't get the white heart still. We didn't actually get rid of that much stress either. Bollocks. Um,. Yeah, I think next time we, we, we have a uh, mental break, we are just going to have to accept it, unfortunately. Dragon again? This is absurd. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've got some incredible chancellors for next generation, but holy shit. Uh, groom to rule. Right, here we go. You want to get muskrat game three stewardship was that? Wow. Oh, man. That's like the best outcome we could have hoped for. Um, what did our other... And Galinda date got three stewardship. Hot on her heels still. She's up to 20. She's up to 20 with a level two education. She's up to 15 with no education. Still nine years of age, I'd like to point out. I, I'm, I'm team Galinda Dates. Come on. Another genius daughter. My God. Um, well, look. We're getting plenty of chances on... On getting a good kid here. Uh, let me Google rich people <laughs> names. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. We're going to go Beef Stalmer. Beef Stalmer. May grow strong and wise. $77.7 billion. Wow. That'll be us. Princess Beeve. Here's the vault for my Pope friend. Okay. Uh, what, are we, what are we going for again? Sorry. Is it Jerusalem? Thought so. So the war goal is up there. Fantastic. The Byzantines are seriously going like full Rome this campaign. Look at them. My God. <laughs> okay. Let's be careful. We might want to get on the winning team, I think. Um, raise the troops. Is it is it worth giving our... You can lead troops. She's got 10 prowess. Do it. Lead the armies. Let's get the crusader trait. Or murdered. One or the other. Or we're on, the, we're on the vanguard. We're on the front line. Get in there. Help me! These fucking AI. The AI in this game, uh, they make me want to scream. They make me want to scream. They see that we're about to get into a battle and then just walk away. They just do a 360 and they walk away. They're just not interested. Right, get in there. Get in, get into the, get into the war camp. My Saint George loaded to victory. Well done. Okay. Um, if we swap her out now, though, she does lose the, lose the trade, doesn't she? So we'll just kind of hang around, really. Um, Delinda Gates gains calm. That is quite nice. Uh, brave. That's also quite good. Or zealous. I think we'll go calm. I think we'll go calm for our daughter. Did she, uh, oh, that is shy. Sorry, I thought it was a childhood trait. Um, yeah, she's coming out pretty good, I think. Calm seems a great idea. Oh, and another rival dead. We're no longer over around. There we go. I, I said that we would probably work it off just by our rivals dying, and it bloody came true. Okay. Uh, payments? Feels like it's been ages since we've demanded any payments. We are. Seeing as we're not going to win this siege anyway, I think we press forward and we start one of the future sieges. And hopefully, uh, hopefully, our allies won't fucking flake out on us again. The shits. Lead the way. Get in there. Okay. That was me. I won that. We didn't. I was, I was, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we're trying to see if we can immediately return down speed one. The second this battle's over, we run. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. We might have been it the first one there. I don't know. It's going to be very close. Did we get it? Venice? 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 Who's this guy? County of Kyrgyz? Get out of here. We'll go through here then. Oh, our troops didn't even move, I'd like to point out. For fuck's sake. Fine. We'll sit here and hopefully they'll join us in sieging. Ah, oh, there's a different turtle though. Where's his capital? Down there. We'll go for the capital. They'll follow us. No, they won't. We've missed it again. Kyrgyz! Kyrgyz, fuck off us. Oh! Well, I mean, I did ask him politely. I wasn't expecting that though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good news. Things are more or less identical to how they were before. The only difference is I've taken away the mod that adds all the, the armies onto the uh, onto the battlefield because I have a feeling the game got a little bit too dense there. Um, it got very sad. I'm kind of hoping someone else will help out with this siege. Hello? 
Hello, I'm here first, but I'd like someone else to kind of kind of give me a hand if that's all right, people. Uh, 58% war skill right now. Shouldn't take us too long to win this, right? Please help. Please help Venice. Okay, we're smashed. Right, that's it. I'm done with freaking crusading. We're out. Goodbye. When we build some wonders that obviously give us better troops, um, th then maybe things will be slightly better. Right, okay. Should we start just going into family hierarchy? Or do you want to go back to stewardship? Um, well, we have to spend a point either way, don't we? Uh... I guess we could go befriend scheme and try and befriend the Pope. It's a more permanent way to stay on top of, uh, to stay on top of gaining money from him, right? 19%? Fucking hell, we might as well give it a go. Stress wasn't much, uh, sorry, not stress, um, swaying wasn't much lower than that or much higher than that. Vassal and Jars came out grey eminence. That means that every single child, with the exception of our firstborn that I was putting everything into, uh, has come out with the highest education tier. That is disgusting. That is absolutely vile. G Galinda dates 17 years of age. Sorry, 12 years of age, 17 stewardship. All eyes on you, my friend. Do have a perk to spend? Oh, we do. Um, how long have we had that? <laughs> uh, Republic Vassal tax contribution, 15%. We could make nothing but Republic Vassals. That'd be kind of fun. Quite difficult to do, though. Um, we could change that one, for example, over to a, to a city holding, right? Um, I couldn't remember how to do that. Is it here? Is there not a button that lets you swap out, swap holdings into other holdings? I could have sworn there was. Um, maybe the mod that we had for that has, uh, has, has fallen apart. Oh! Lose 14 stress because we're actually succeeding at making friends with the Pope, so it's paid itself off. Brilliant. Linda Dates is content. She's not. Fickle or trusting. Uh, plenty of religion, plenty of assets. Just intrigue minus two. Oh, I don't like that. Fickle. Plenty minus two stewardship, though. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. I mean, content is really not bad in this compared to CK3. Learning plus two, stress loss plus 10%, opinion of Lee and Vassals is up, opinion of content characters. What is wrong with that? That's actually quite good. Um, yeah. Done. She's a spineless planner. St. George is with us. No. Mackenzie Mezos of Jerusalem. We also got some money. Uh... <laughs> wow. Mackenzie Mizos got to be a ruler. She's a really good character, so they're in safe hands. Um, she is now the kingdom of Gaza. So give it two seconds and she'll be completely fucking gone. Um, I don't know how much money we got. It seems like we did, we, we've got a lot more money than I remember. I don't remember having 4,000 gold. Let's put it that way. Um, well, let's go ahead and swap out the hunting grounds next then, huh? What should we go for? Um, Grand Fortress. Great Walls. Or Grand Cathedral. Um, so how many more wonders have we got left to build? We've got one, two, three, four, five. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Wow. We could actually get a full city of wonders. Well, let's go cathedral then. Bye, husband. I might not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing. Uh, goodbye. We're traders. Died. Overwhelmed by stress. On the plus side, we can now marry again. Um, we'll marry a nice man called Adolf. He seems like a trustworthy fella. I'm just marrying whoever's got the highest stewardship. We're not going to get any more kids, let's be honest. Um, and let's put you on. Um, also managing to King Adolf. Oh, no. <laughs> he actually succeeded with the Befriend plot. Wow. What was that, like 18%? Oh, 28% by the end of it. Boom. Okay. Um, well, we need a guardian now for all of these bloody kids. Wobbuffet can educate them. Oh, that's great. Oh, shit. My son and friend, Wobbuffet Money. What? What's he? He's got... He's got intelligent. So let's go inheritable, obviously. Um, she'll do. Done. Thank you very much. Uh, my daughter, Massalyn Jars. What's she got? She's also intelligent. Uh, matrilineal, please. Let's see if we can find an intelligent man. There we are. Fantastic. We could also have a holy order. Oh, that's quite cool. I want I want them there. Uh, what, what, how do I... Oh, where, where do I put them? Sorry. Oh, is that saying... Riley put in Venice. Right. Uh, where are they going? Oh, they're the county highlights. Oh, that's a bit weird. So it's that one. Yeah. Found a holy order. That's awesome. Um, so what does it cost? A thousand piety and 500 gold. Done. There we are. Grandmaster Luciano has founded the Knights Hospitalia. Wow. We can actually revoke the lease from them. What does that do? Um, Grandmaster Luciano, so we can just take it from him. It's hospitality. What do they, what do they do? They just they just sit around and we can uh, do we get any bonuses for that for being their their liege? Do we even count as their liege? No, we don't. Okay, interesting. I was wondering if we could maybe hire them on the cheap or something like that. Um, no cost. No cost because they're 
Yeah, because we're their patron. Oh, okay, cool. I like that. Hey, that's that's really nice. That's worth giving away a crappy little city for. I think I'm going to take Reclusive. I don't see why not. Uh, we need something here to... We need something here to, to kind of keep us keep us going, don't we? Because the hunts just aren't frequent enough. When have we got the next one? See, 12.04. We got, we've got one, like, now. Um, but even that is probably only just going to get our... I don't think... Oh, it, it did clear our stress, but only just. Right, let's get to work, then. White Stag. Port Ballant needs to save him. I saw it. <gasps> uh, Elongate must right run ahead of the group chasing a heart. Um, Must cover this up. Or... Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Sorry. Jason Hart, I follow behind, standing above the corner, took an arrow out of the poor man's chest. As soon as she sees me, she hides the arrow behind her back. It was the heart mother, I swear. Oh. Oh, she accidentally shot a peasant. Right. Sorry, I thought he'd shot her. Um, she must answer for a... Too bad the heart got you both? <laughs> I mean... You know. Oh, wow. We got Herculean and Quick on the first kid. Um, we must cover this up. I think we have to cover it up, don't we? Everyone believes me. or well, they don't buy it. Let's try and let's try and go for that one. Let's not only try and cover it up. Let's try and make her look like the good guy. Everyone believes me. Oh, thank God. Return home reinvigorated with only one body count. Damn, what a shame. Right. Let's go for it. Uh, it's my domain or war property. I'm thinking while at war. I mean, given that we're crusading every five minutes, probably isn't so bad this time. Ah, thank you, my friend. 570 gold. So I'm thinking maybe we focus on upgrading what we've got before we put down even more. I don't really know the best way to go about it, to be honest with you. Um, go on, then. Go ahead and try and increase development time again. Why not? We might as well see if we can get the uh, lower build time modifier on that one. Oh, here we go. Not content with understanding the flowing wealth of people she's incapable of predicting it as if by instinct... We've only gone and done it. Galinda dates. The Midas touched. Genius. That is 70% monthly lifestyle experience for for stewardship. We've got to find a genius to marry her off to, right? Um, let's go matrilineal. Let's see who the best choice is here. Can we by age? Um, no, 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 no. Uh, tidy up this baby. Right. Age. No. Okay, we're fine. Um, could go genius. We could go beautiful. Marry off to our other grandson. That's a bit that's a bit cursed. Um to be fair though, the kid would have a high chance of inheriting would have a high chance of inheriting um genius because it, uh, his mother has it, which does count towards inheritance. Okay. Uh, and our bloodline has the reinforcement, don't forget, too. Um, we could go again for something like Beautiful on, on top and try and get both from the next generation. Um, but that seems like a pretty slippery slope. Maybe a recipe for disaster. Or we go for, again, we go for another Herculean guy. Because um, that'd be really, really good if we could get both together. Go on, let's do it. Let's go for the gamble. Let's go for the big gamble. Argon Temujin. Hello, the greatest of Khans. Ah, hello. Um... I don't doubt he'll get very far. No, I agree. I think I, I don't think I've ever actually legitimately seen him get very far in CK3, so we'll keep an eye on him, but he's not going to be any problem to us unless his horse grow flippers. Here we are. So we've got the amphitheater, the palace, the harbor, the lighthouse, the cathedral, the harbor. Let's get rid of the small harbor. We've already got a big harbor. We don't need two harbors. Uh, Grand University next gives development growth 10%. Now, the Grey Library is better for just pure gold. So that one is next on my list. Wow, this is insane. And how much is it to upgrade these? 2,125 apiece. Fucking hell. Oh, we must have 50 development or cranes. How close are we to cranes? Um. Oh, wait. Cranes is like late medieval, right? Yes, it is. Wow. So we need to double down on the, on the, on the development then. I, th I think never collect tats again and just sit here and develop and develop and develop. We might be able to beat the culture to it. Ooh, my treasure is bringing with gold and silver, and I have all expenses have cared for. I'm a wealthy lady. I should expect to offer some patronage to some kind of artist or scholar or YouTuber, perhaps. Uh, links in description. So let's go for... Um, we've got three potential candidates. Beautiful gardens. Whoops. Well, I guess we're going for that one now. Bollocks. I just meant to see what she was good at. Never mind. Oh, charismatic negotiator. I thought we were going to get a bit more than that, but that's okay. Certainly not bad. Should we swap out some of our counselors then? Because I'm sure we've got better kids capable of doing it. Um... Beth Jesus, no, he's not that good. We've definitely got a better steward. Wobbuffet is, is way, way better. You can get out of here. Marshall, um, we've got Berengario Gugurazi. Done. Welcome. 
I think we need a better... And then, I mean, to be fair, Beth Jesus, even though he's not got the Diplomat, he has got the Intrigue. Let's bring him on board too, then. Look at that. That I mean, that's quite, a, that's quite a loyal council, I think. And we'll get some payments in quickly, and then we'll marry off little Beth. Um, so he is genius. Are there any other genius characters around right now? Uh, Jean E. Us. Thank you. Granddaughter or a 41-year-old woman. Okay. Um, we'll go for, again, we'll try and go Herculean, because that is the best one next, in my opinion. We've got a nine-year-old. We'd be waiting a while. Let's go for beautiful then. Sod it. I want to I go for whatever is high tier. Um, I guess it's her. Also, also an alliance. So we got a, a nice side effect. She's a lot older than I wanted, but that's okay. My library's done already. Bloody hell, that was fast. Um, right, moving on then. Hamlets. We got fun. What does that one give it? Maximum. Oh, it's quite good. Um, I think I want the Carpenter's Guild. The 40% development growth is disgusting. Um... We've got to swap something out, though, haven't we? Swap our assay office out for something. Can't swap the Doge's Palace out. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> right, let's swap you out, then. We do need to swap out everything if we want to get all the wonders. It's whether or not we'd prefer a Grand Fortress, or we'd prefer... Um, we'd prefer to potentially have that fully upgraded Carpenter's Guild. Do I want to grow 10%, though, just from the Grand Fortress level 1? What does level 2 give? 15% and 0 0.2 per month. So it's going to be roughly the same, anyway. Yikes. Uh... Well, let's swap you out then for, I think, we'll go for the university. Why not? Seven months, by the way. Sorry, I didn't point that out. Um, seven months to get a university. Absolutely vile. It's our, it's our steward, honestly. Like, like, training these kids up to be the best they can possibly be for the purposes of putting them on the council has worked wonders, quite literally. Um, all right, so swap you out for... The Great Walls only takes seven months. Can't really be that great. Pope's willing to give us more money. Thank you. We, you know, we, we, uh, we don't really have that much right now. I appreciate that. He knows that we're a struggling people here in Venice. And we're almost up to avaricious too, as if we needed any more cash on top of what we got. Thank you very much. There's Great Walls. Man, I love these guilds. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my bad. Um, I like these guilds, but I think we've got to, we've got to go for it, haven't we? Let's go for the full-blown City of Wonders right there. There we are, my friends. City of Light, City of Magic, the Grand Fortress, the Great Walls, the Grand University, the Great Library, the Grand Cathedral, the Great Lighthouse, the Great Harbour, the Royal Palace, and the Grand Amphitheatre. Why are some great and some grand? I don't know, to be completely honest with you. Next level of the Metropolis, what does it cost? Um, we need windmills before we can upgrade. How close are we to windmills then? I would love to come ahead of culture here. 131 years, oh, that's fine. Fucking hell. Let's go on a hunt. Before I finish this hunt, let's make sure that we are, just in case we're murdered horribly, let's make sure that Delinda Gates, Delinda, Delinda Dates, <gasps> holy shit, they did it in the first kid? <laughs> oh. Nice. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's make sure she's elected, just in case this deer finishes us off. Sorry. Uh, Galinda Dates. Elected. Path ends here with me. We actually survived it. Wow. What can we upgrade without needing cranes? So that one's cranes. That one's cranes. That one is cranes. This one also requires cranes. Reasonable. Um, it's quite impressive they've been able to build all this shit without cranes. Grand Cathedral, though. 620 more gold. So we can definitely get that one. Um, we must have Renaissance Thought for Great Library. Fair enough. Um, we need... Renaissance Thought for the Grand University. The Great Walls. We need uh, ma 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 machicolations. And finally, we've got machicolations again. So really, it's quite simply just the uh, just the cranes. What do we need for the next level of... It's windmills. Windmills, cranes, Renaissance Thought, and machicolations the whole way down. Balls. We're quite literally stuck. Um, well, I mean, with the exception of the Grand Cathedral, which we'll build up in, you know, a very little time. Come on, how much more? We've got to be... Oh, 1,700. My bad. One Grand Cathedral. Holy shit. And we are almost at Avaricious 2. This character... I, I said... I was I was bigging her up very much so when we first started playing as... Uh, as Massillon Jars. But hopefully you can see exactly why I think that Massillon Jars was the... Was the character to be bigged up. Like, holy shit. A complete game change. There is the Grand Cathedral level 2. Wow. This is, this is ludicrous. 20%. So we got 10% extra holding tax from that. We're up to 33.2 gold per month. Venice, we've done it. Oh, I think we need to rename Venice, don't we? Because this is... Uh, 
It's not really Venice anymore. I think we've ripped up the foundations place, the whole bloody thing. Well, our our gardener gave us immaculate gardens. Uh, one per month. I'm going to give her a bonus as well. There you are. You're doing great work. Give her a bonus. You're welcome. Work hard, get paid. Welcome to welcome to Venice, my friend. Uh, culture clash. Oh, teach them the superiority of cisalpine culture. We'll never see it coming. Done. Hey, there we are. Wow, that accomplished that actually worked. I wanted to upgrade the um. I wanted to upgrade Chogia for Lucino there, but it won't let me do it because apparently he can only. If I send him some gold, will he put it to good use? It's still our domain after all. We've got our final lifestyle perk. Boom. We could start going down into administrator. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Honestly, why the hell not at this stage? We might as well just uh, might as well double down on everything, right? Avaricious. Thank you. What's that? Another 10% tax, I believe? 15% tax. Holy shit. This is a lot of gold. Even by CK2 standards, this would be a fair amount of gold. I'm not to kill more on the Pope. Sorry. I meant to... I, I thought that was uh, the Pope offering to give me more money to be spent wisely on Christian things like fine gardens and hunts and covering up the murders of peasants by our daughter. Oh, look at this. Um, a comet. Panics innumerable subjects. 50% chance of gaining 60 stress. 50% chance of losing 63 stress. Um, doesn't really matter. This too shall pass. It did. The comet did indeed. Well, it's either that or it wipes us out, I guess. So, excellent. Good work, everyone. I think we can, I think we can chalk this one up as a victory. We've got all of the wonders there in Venice. God knows where we're going to expand to from here. I love the idea of making our own faith. Taking the holy sites too, of course, to make ourselves the head of faith. And we'll make the mighty worship of, of, of the golden dollar itself. I think that could be quite a fun outcome. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. It's a bit of a bit of a weird one. Um, you know, kind of playing tall, trying to play tall anyway in in CK3, but we do have ourselves a very wonderful city there. Thank you to our executive producers over on Coffee for making the channel possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Darkus, Odie, Sonic Cooperetto, Emily, Moira, Mythomatic, Big Weeb, Layla, Scarlet Bar, Jan, Buen Gun, Juncture On, Astra and the Cat. My name is Indio for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. And a thank you as well to Prometheo, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Infectious, Number 5, Mr. Streamers, Lil Slut, Matthewson T, Mantle, Argus, Dommies, Big Chungus, Varlord, Mayo, Tempe, and Akka. These were the final, uh, for the executive producer tier, was, uh, was the final uh, list for um, for September. So I'll start getting the list together for the October period. And then after that, of course, we will be moving over to to Patreon. So don't worry if you're, again, I've, I've said it before, but I don't want people double pledging because it, it feels a bit greedy, um, ironically enough. So I would prefer it if you guys just kind of waited. Um, obviously, it doesn't make much difference either way, but I'd prefer it if you waited. Uh, I'll just keep the names on the list, basically. So if your, if your subscription ends over on Coffee, um, or, you know, it's, it's on like a weird cutoff point, or you want to cancel it early, feel free. And that's, absol uh, that's absolutely fine. And we'll, we'll move over some platform in probably at the start of November, probably around, the, probably around this time next month. 